Hello and welcome to my Elite Dangerous, my personal fleet carrier, the never-ending grind. But now it's raw materials and planetary exploration at 14C. Let's get into our cutter. Planetary cutter. This right. Transfer some tritium into the fuel tank. Two hundred and eleven. Gives us at to forty nine percent. So that's pretty good. Check the integrity and the advanced maintenance. Is this right? Okay, we don't have any cargo. Is this left? Let's see if our location is still pending. It is. Start it and go to 14C for some planetary exploration raw materials. Be sure to look to the lower right hand corner of the video and press that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. Eventually, it'll help me with YouTube. Go for launch. Departure confirmed. And you get notified when I produce more of these videos. Is this left? Yeah, I don't think it's says it's selected, but I'm not showing it as selected. Says left. Let's take away carriers, but let's put back in planets and moons. It's kind of weird. Let's pick the one underneath it and then pick, wind up going back to 14C because it's not showing it. Oh, there wouldn't ever be issues, would there? No way. Okay, there it is. Kind of weird. 
No, oh, everything's perfect, isn't it? Alright, that's what everybody... That's what some are always trying to say, that everything's perfect. Almost so many issues, you can't count them all. Okay, well, we're going to go to 14C and we're going to run around the planet and collect raw materials and see what else we can find. And my uh, last excursion, which I didn't create a video on it, I went and looked for discounted tritium and I thought I had found a spot and I got there and they had one Inera CZ said they had 8,000 they only had one one unit so yeah I wasted about 400 tons of tritium trying to figure all that out but that happens Uh, that certainly wasn't a savings of any kind. And we'll be looking for the bright side of things, or this planet. We'll do several uh, planetary explorations, and then we'll do several asteroid mining videos. before we run out to Dab's Hope and James and Crash Site. Some of your sides are on top. But just because there's a sunspot doesn't mean it's bright. <laughs> That's how far we are from those uh, suns. But this video will probably will do 14C, and the next one will probably do 14D, because we had uh, previously done A and B in recent videos. So, well, not too recent about. Uh, almost a month ago but we'll do these we might pick a few others too these are more relaxing there's no interdictions or I haven't had one yet in an unpopulated system like this one Well, I appreciate you coming along. Please look underneath the video in the description toward the bottom and you'll find ways to donate and sponsor. Please consider sponsoring. We desperately need sponsors so we can improve our systems, our, our computers and backup systems and all of that. And after being aggravated with interdictions, planetary exploration is a pretty good choice. It was nice and peaceful. 
do a look around. We have to watch the deceleration. Make sure we don't drop too fast. Because we are dropping. So you have to keep an eye on it. this alternate I was about ready to reverse thrusters and go up because it sure was coming down awfully fast sis landing Oh, it must gravity must be pretty heavy. Let's see if we can find a spot that it'll let us land on. Right now, all it's telling us is it's unsuitable, and I think we lost our tracking again. I have to reboot. Sis down. Yeah, Oculus cannot keep tracking. It just the, the Rift S. It's horrid when it comes to tracking. The tracking is in the headset, and it's so terrible. It does not work. <laughs> Oh, it's awful. You would have thought they would have tested it before they release stuff, but companies don't test anymore. They just throw out the junk. Sis Dark. Sys deploy. Sys deploy. Oh, Sys ship. Ship dismissed. Wrong command. That's what I get for doing four games at one time. It's me all confused. Okay, well I'm going to go out and uh, see if I can get the tracking to work again and I'll be right back. Now what I have to do is unplug the USB connection to the Oculus Rift S and plug it into a different connection. Reboot or restart the Oculus software and uh, hopefully it uh, keeps the tracking. Ever since they put the uh, tracking in the headset, it's just terrible. I just wish they would have tested it before they started producing it. That's why in the future I'll probably look at a different brand of uh, VR because Oculus seems to just be getting worse. Well, the tracking doesn't work, and they say it has to do with lighting, and I have put overabundance of lighting around my play area, and it still loses tracking, so that excuse doesn't work anymore. I just wish think people would make things that work. They just don't make stuff that works anymore. It's 
It's all about collecting a quick buck. Yeah, looking for that back radar to populate since we had to restart everything. There it goes. So we got some blips, so we'll go in that direction and see what we can find. Shoot some rocks and get turned in the opposite direction, or is there trying? very easy to get frustrated with this stuff because my time is limited as it is and then I have to spend you know an hour a lot of times just trying to get things to work before I can uh, create a video Check out our YouTube channel at GFM underscore RDG. It's under the video to the far left. Where you'll find over 850 additional videos as of the publication of this video. A scoop. So this is the raw material portion. Dab's hope is the manufactured material portion and uh, Jameson Crassite is the encoded. With sulfur and phosphorus, we can refuel the SRV without ever calling the ship down. For synthesis. It's pretty cool. See, the most beneficial thing we do is the cargo missions, but boy, it drives me nuts. I get so aggravated with the, the lack of uh, cargo missions at times, and the interdictions, and the uh, mission critical message, and oh, it's nice to come down to the planet and just roam around and 
collect some materials and an uninhabited system and a lot more peaceful. Either for my sanity's sake. So I think we're going to do an extended planetary and asteroid mining. See, the signal is real spread out. That means it's further away. And as that signal gets tighter, it means we're getting closer. And if they were signals at the top of that radar, or that sensor would mean it's something that was manufactured. Raw materials will show up at the bottom. And like a scan point would be at the top for encoded. But this being an uninhabited system, we don't see much in the sense of man-made. tries to slide all over the place. that we miss nope because sometimes they come up on the scan and sometimes they don't usually when they don't it's because we have something ignored I check just to make sure we don't have something ignored on the material side Because even if we got an abundance of one material, we can use it for trading for other materials at material traders. See if we have a little stronger signal elsewhere. Don't think so. I do appreciate you coming along. Appreciate all those that have subscribed to our channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. Doesn't cost you anything. You get notified when we produce more of these videos and eventually it could help me out with YouTube where we could get some funding. And you see over here to the left, it says nickel inventory 36 of 300. So we have plenty of room. So we can carry up to 300. And phosphorus is 25 of 300. Main reason because we've been to the material trader since we did any planetary exploration. Sulfur is 57 of 300.
but this is much more relaxing and when I get frustrated sometimes it's a good way to kind of unwind a little bit it's being productive and I can unwind at the same time so it's pretty good and then when I get totally sick of it then I can do cargo missions again and try to get to 5.4 billion as we're trying to gain a hundred million at a time until we get to about nine billion because we have one billion in the uh, fleet carrier balance. When we get up to nine billion in my personal account then, and a billion in the fleet carrier then we'll slow down on the cargo missions. We'll just do more like asteroid mining or something to collect tritium. We're doing really good though. We have in the fleet carrier's balance we have almost a year's worth of uh, weekly upkeep and then we have over five billion in the personal account so we could last for a very long time but we pretty much have to keep it up or we start uh, going in the negative instead of positively growing our credits then we start losing credits so we don't want to do that by doing a hundred million at a time, that works. We have till next year before any major content comes out. If then, this frontier is really good about delaying. So the uh, space legs, planetary, personal bases are base building and landing on planets with atmospheres have been postponed till next year where it's supposed to come out in December so and we're not counting on it for next year either now the problem that they have Frontier has yeah they came out with fleet carriers but that only affects about three percent of the player base that can even afford a, fl a fleet carrier so that's not too good If I didn't, if I didn't have the five billion, I would not be happy. That no major content for o over a year, and then uh, and only provide it for three percent of the player base. And then No Man's Sky came out with some major upgrades this week. Now it's more combat oriented and as you know I'm not really a combat oriented player. So a lot of it wasn't for me but I have heard that they put allow you to have a teleporter in your freighter. Well I do like that. I gotta check that out this weekend. You want to see more No Man's Sky or Sonatica? Watch more of those videos. We're not getting as many viewers for those as we are with Elite Dangerous. And ooh, we have an upper level blip. There's something over here that's man-made. Could be a ship. Better get out of combat mode. Somebody not, might not be happy with us if we come across a hill and we're in combat mode and certainly don't want people opening fire. Now I'm in solo mode so it would be a uh, 
from the NPC. Yeah, I thought they were supposed to get rid of... Uh, several years ago they were saying cell phones would be great because you won't get as many spam calls. I get more spam calls on my cell phone than I ever did on landline. A lot of times these are crash satellites are a encoded connection point. It's really a satellite. But again, we have to check it out. It's just part of our mission. If there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? GFM RDG. And this is strange in our neighborhood. It's almost acting like a ship. Well, it could be anything really. Now there's no uh, trespass zone. It's a satellite. Now you can get encoded information from it. See through that data point. Yeah, I think it's just sis left. Yeah, you get 3,200 credits by turning it into the Alliance. But we have a redemption service on the fleet carrier, so we can turn it in there. While we check it out, now, it'll stay there, and we could be drawn to the same one, but we hardly get those out here, so we know it's probably that one. Let's go back to uh, getting raw materials. Because we need the raw materials when we go to the, uh, or all the materials, when we go to the engineers probably go to engines next and upgrade our engines when we take the uh, fleet carrier around to the engineers so we've been to Felicity Farseer which is the FSD booster or yeah, FSD generator been to uh, Lee Chung which was shields Well, we'll probably go to engine next. Sixty six out of three hundred. I think this will be it. See that upper level is from that previous satellite. And the next video will go to 14D. Sis ship.
Got a couple more over here. Might collect these and the ship have to be so far away? Almost a thousand meters? Almost a kilometer? So why is that? Why do they need to do that? There's a lot of whys in this game. Why does it have to be that way? There's plenty of places to park over here. Yeah, I'm constantly saying why in Elite Dangerous. Why are they write it like that? Because it has to be an obstacle course. It has to frustrate you. It must be narcissists or something. Because narcissists like to make it hard on everybody but themselves. Okay. We'll go from here to 14D. But we'll do that in the next video. might have noticed on uh, Saturdays in the US I've been taking that day to sometimes I'll just play a game I don't create videos on that day started doing that until you know maybe Saturday night but try to do some more on Sunday Well, I do appreciate you coming along. Make sure you press that uh, subscribe button. And consider being a sponsor. Sit down. Sit down. underneath the video to the left our YouTube channel GFM underscore RDG where there's over 850 more videos to watch so until the next video where we do some more planetary exploration thank you for watching goodbye